when will three planes have a unique point of intersection or oh, that's a huge question okay and we need to figure out what is the condition which could tell us that three different planes will intersect at a point so here is an example for us show that the three planes intersect at a single point find its coordinates so we have the equation of three planes here 3x minus 3y minus 2z equals to 14 5x plus y minus 6z equals to 10 and x minus 2y plus 4z equals to 9. Now we need to figure out if they will intersect uh, at a point or not. Normally, you know, if the plane intersects, uh, they could intersect in the line. Two planes will always intersect in the line. As far as three planes are concerned, they normally intersect in the line. They could intersect in the plane if they're coincident and they could also intersect in a point. To give you an idea about how, think about our R3 plane coordinates, right? See how we draw it. We draw like this. Do you see that x, y, z axis? So now here we have, we have a plane here, right? This plane. This is your y, z. If you say this is y and this is z, and this is x here so this is your yz plane correct and on this side you have xz plane correct and here you have xy plane okay you see they intersect at just one point and what is important to note here is that their normals are not coplanar Correct. Their normals are not coplanar, and that is the primary condition. Uh, if the normals are not coplanar, then the planes intersect at a single point. If they at all in intersect, okay. So if they intersect at a single point, then their normals are not in the same plane. That means that if we do scalar triple product of the normal, that is, if we do n1 dot n2 cross n3 then this will not be equal to 0 right so because they are not coplanar right so because they are not coplanar and that is the condition when the planes intersect at a single point correct so if you have to draw these planes you will draw it like this only correct one plane going like this correct so i can make this plane as let me use different ink so it's easy for to draw us let's say this is our one plane right this is going like this right here like this let me draw it slightly better that is one plane here so we can show this as one plane and then we can say well that is our next plane something like this correct I've drawn this much, much bigger than the other ones. Anyway, so this is my front side. And then we have this plane on the side going like this, right? So we can have a plane like this. Okay, let's say this is the front side. So, so that is that's how it is. So let's say these are our three planes and they intersect here at one point, correct? So, so basically if you see our coordinate system, it intersects at the origin, which is one point, and the normal to these coordinate systems are not in one plane, they're not coplanar, right? So that gives you an idea that if at all the planes are intersecting at a point, in that case, the scalar triple product should not be equal to zero, right? So if we figure out what is the scalar triple product of this. So these are our three normals. Let's say this is our plane one, this is our plane two, and that's our plane three, right? So in that case, we can find the scalar triple product, which will be three minus three minus two, right? I'm using matrix. You can use a method, uh, any method to find this. So basically we are finding n1 dot n2 cross n3, correct? <clears throat> Minus 6, 
1 minus 2 and 4 correct and if you do that you get 3 times this is 4 minus 12 minus minus 3 makes it plus 3 times 5 times 4 is 20 minus minus 6 makes it plus 6 right and then plus minus 2 which is minus 2 times 5 times minus 2 is minus 10 and 1 times 1 is minus 1 correct so this is equals to 3 times minus 8 plus 3 times 26 minus 2 times this is minus 11 correct which could be written as minus 24 uh, plus 6 times 3 is 18 8 1 and 78 and minus and minus becomes plus 22 correct so this becomes so plus 22 will give us this as minus 2 and so we get plus 76 here which is definitely not equal to 0 right since it is not equal to 0 these three planes the normal of these three planes is are not coplanar correct and that is why uh, they will intersect at a point correct I will not go and show you the solution for this but let me tell you uh, write down the solution for you the answer basically right so they do intersect and the answer here is uh, the point at which they intersect is 3 minus 2 and half correct so that's the point at which they intersect and let that be an exercise for you correct so employ your method you can use matrix or you can uh, use the linear equations to solve for it okay so the idea here was to inform you or to educate you about the condition which is n1 dot n2 cross n3 will not be equal to zero if they intersect at a point because the normals are not coplanar okay thank you